Time is money, as the saying goes. Both have value and shouldn't be wasted. Doubly so when they come together in industry. Take digital finance, for instance. Transaction speed there can be the difference between making money and blowing a business opportunity. STP, which was co-founded by Eric Velazquez 15 years ago, is at the sharp end of that. A leading Mexican fintech, it specializes in electronic payment and transfer services, handling tens of millions of transactions every day. And with a financial big data platform built by Huawei Cloud, it has significantly improved its processing performance and data analysis. Eric was among those attending the Huawei Cloud Compass Summit on the future of AI and cloud computing. We as, as a fintech company, we are permanently committed to development of, of technology no? and, and the use and adoption of technology. The road is not always simply, it's not always easy, but we are in, in the process that to adopt the new technologies. No? The artificial intelligence, it's, it's one of the technologies. We face challenges, of course. Uh, the, the resistance of the people, the, the some people, no? for, for the digitalization and transform, digital transformation, because uh, we as humans uh, are used to have resistance to change. No? But, but in general, we are always pushing towards the digital transformation. It's, it's interesting that there is that resistance. As you say, it's yes. kind of natural reaction from, from some people. We're at this Huawei Cloud Compass Summit. What are the role that Huawei Cloud solutions and services can play in, in overcoming that resistance, in, in supporting STP in their work? I think the Huawei Cloud, our proposition is to support Latin America and especially like the fintech and the digital economy company to be more uh, dig digital, to be more uh, intelligent. So I think digitalization and uh, um, intelligent is the trend. Uh, we have three key features or advantage. The first one, I think we can bring the leading and the innovative knowledge and technical, technical knowledge, right? The second, I think, is local services. Because as you know, Huawei, is, we are business more focused on the B2B business, right? We very care about the customer's experience and the customer's centric. This is our culture. So we can provide the local service for our customer. The third one I think is we, and we can provide the cost effective product and the solution. I think this is very important in Latin America. Just spell out then, what is it that cloudification can do for customers? What are the benefits that it brings? And also, what are the, the pain points that you're solving, really? We as a financial institution, and I think most of the institutions, security is mostly important for us, and, and um, the reliability of the application. We, we need to be uh, up and running 24-7, of course. We need to be able to, to scale up and scale down as the requirement goes. Two things are the main pain points and, and the things that we should benefit from the cloudification. And you, you've talked about the sort of pillars, the strengths of Huawei in Latin America. What about the strategy going forward then? How will you specifically help businesses and enterprises building on those advantages? Our solution and our product focus on three layers. The first layer is the infrastructure as a service is like a computing, networking, and the storage. The second is the expertise as a services. Because of Huawei, of, we focus on the B2B business, so we have a lot of the like industrial experience. For example, retail, finance, and the government, and the carrier. The third one is like the application as services. Okay, we have a lot of the, like the application development and the applications experience for the um, industrial transformation. So um, this is our strategy and our, is our, uh, our advantage. We've heard that from Jackie about the advantages, the, 
the strengths of the company. What are your hopes and ambitions for the partnership between the two of you going forward? We know that in our sector, specifically uh, the STP business is, is payment. We are clear uh, that, that if, if, if one, one country is expert in, in payments, is, is the leading in, in payments, it's China. Mm -hmm. And in China, uh, Huawei is, we think, is, is, is the leading company. No? It's, 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 it's the one that, that sets the mark for most, most technology in our sector. So we are expecting to benefit from the knowledge of, of Huawei and bring that knowledge back in Mexico. Because in Mexico, in, in Latin America, we tend to, to see only one way, and it's, it's, that's the north. Okay, so so American way. American way. It's, it's of course a good technology and good ideology. When it's okay, but it's the stupid thing that we should see other uh, other ways. Uh, no different uh, philosophies, strategies, technology, and we think the the best place to look is is in in China and specifically in Huawei. So it's that strength of diversity and different approaches. And your ambitions for the the partnership going forward. When we in the cloud era, uh, I think most of the enterprise and the company, they prefer like the multi-cloud strategy or multi-cloud is, is strength. When we go to, or when we enter to the AI era, I think multiple AI model or AI technology is a trend and strategy. Mm -hmm. Not only one AI model and not only one AI technology. It is our, our strategy. Mm -hmm. Because in every company and every enterprise, I think they need to leverage different, every AI model and every AI technology's advantage. Mm -hmm.